There are other things other than carbons that might branch off of the main chain. And in this video, I want to introduce you to the alkyl halides. So alkyl, alkyl halides. And this is a situation where one of the halogen elements, and the halogen elements are the second to last, or the second to the right, or to the rightmost column in the periodic table, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. It's when one of these replace one of the hydrogens attached to a carbon. So I've drawn some alkyl halides here, and let's think a little bit of how to name them. So like we name all of our organic molecules so far, you look for the longest chain first. The longest chain. And the longest chain that contains a double bond if there is one. In this case, there is no double bond. So the longest chain looks like this. We start here, and we go over there. Or we could go either way, but this is the longest chain. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 carbons. Let me make sure that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 carbons. And we want to start at the end where we're going to run into uh, either some type of uh, out, uh, some type of uh, halide first, or some other type of branch off of it. Just something attached to the carbon chain other than a hydrogen. So we're going to start at this end. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so we are dealing, oh, sorry, 7, 7, 8. So we're dealing with an octane. Our main chain has 8 carbons. So we're dealing with an octane. And now we have to think about these different halogens that we have here. So first we have a chlorine. We have a chlorine at carbon number 2. So that's going to be 2-chloro. 2-chloro is what we're going to call that. And we're going to put them in alphabetical order and then put them in front of the octane. And then this is a, this right here is a, it's on the fourth carbon. So it is a 4-bromo, the, 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 the actual uh, uh, element is called bromine. We change the ene to a to an uh, oro. So this is bromo, brom or uh, and the ene to an o, I should say. So this is bromo, and B comes before C, but we're not done yet because we don't have just halides here. We don't just have these halogens over here. We also have a methyl group. We have one carbon sitting over here. So we don't want to forget that guy. So that right there, that is a 5-methyl. Five, five so when we write it all out, we do it in alphabetical order. B takes precedence. So it will be, this will be 4-bromo. I'll do it over here. 4-bromo. Then the next thing we have is C. So 4-bromo, 2-chromo, chloro, 2-chloro. 5-methyl, five 5-methyl, five 5-methyl five octane. 5-methyl octane. Now if we take a look at this structure over here, our main carbon branch, we only have two carbons in it. Only have two carbons in it right here. So we're dealing with eth or ethane. It's a single bond. So this is this tells us that we're dealing with an ethane. And let's see what we have attached to it. We have a bunch of these halogens attached to it. We've replaced a bunch of our hydrogens with halogens. So we have we have these fluorines here. And so we can start we can start at the end. We could start at the end that has more of that has more things attached to it. So in this case we have one, two, three fluorines attached. So this is going to start off with and then fluorines, well, I'll just leave it like that for now. I was going to write it, but then I have to remember, you're going to have to alphabetize it. So let me just write out. So it's at some point on our, in our name, we're going to have attached, we're going to start here, that's going to be the one carbon. That is the one carbon. That is the two carbon. So at one point in our chain, let me switch colors actually, we're going to have one, two, three fluorines. So it's going to be a tri, it's going to be a trifluoro trifluoro and they're all at the one carbon so it's going to be a 1 comma 1 comma 1 trifluoro that'll take care of those three fluorines there and then we're going to have at some point in our name this bromo is attached to the two carbon so 2 bromo and then you also have this chloro 
attached to the two carbon. So you're also going to have a 2, 2 chloro. So then you go in alphabetical order. B takes precedence, and then you're going to go to the C, and then the trifluoro. You ignore the tri, but F still comes after B and C. So this is going to be, this is going to be two bromo, two bromo, two chloro, two chloro. I wanted the same shade of green. Two chloro, two. Oh, I didn't. Well, two chloro, same idea. Two chloro, and then we have. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Trifluoro, trifluoro, trifluoroethane. Trifluoro, trifluoroethane. Now, I want to make one thing clear when you do this. Double bonds, we saw in the last video, we learned a little bit about alkenes, still take precedence over everything. So if we go to this original compound, uh, this original uh, molecule up here, if I were to throw a double bond here, so let's say I threw a double bond, then all of a sudden that'll change the naming mechanism. First of all, we're not dealing with an octane anymore. We're dealing with an, we're dealing with, or we're, we're dealing with an octene. So in this situation, the, the chain will start at the end closest to the double bond. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now this becomes 7 chloro. This will be 5 bromo. This is 4 methyl. And this compound over here, it will no longer be this thing over here, because I've added this double bond. It will now be going in alphabetical order. It would be 5 bromo, 5, let me have some space here. It will be 5 bromo, 5 bromo, 7 chloro, 7 chloro, chloro, 4 methyl, 4, 4, 4 methyl. And then we have oct, but it's a alkene, so it's oct. We have to specify where we start our double bond. Oct two, oct two, ene. Now, if we had two double bonds, let's say we had the situation where it was this. Maybe we had. Let's see. We don't have to. We can't. Don't want to put too many bonds here. Carbon will only have four bonds, but this carbon has three. But this hydrogen, we could have a double bond over here. In that situation, we're going to have. And I, I actually didn't specify it correctly in the last video, so this is a bit of a correction. This, instead of being 2-ene, this will now be, oh, let me make it. Instead of being 2-ene, when I add that second carbon there, or that second double bond, it will now be, let me scroll over to the right a little bit, it will now be oct dash. We have a double bond at the 2, starting at the 2, and at the 4. 2 comma 4, and it's no longer just an ene. That was a mistake I did in the last video. I said hept, and I just put an ene. Now that I have two double bonds, it's a diene. Diene. So don't want, you don't want to forget that. That tells us that we have two double bonds here, although it's kind of obvious because I'm listing a 2 and a 4. So it's a little bit redundant. 2 and 4 diene. So if you have it with these two double bonds, we have 5 bromo, 7 chloro, 4 methyl, Oct 2 4 diene. And the whole reason why I introduced this is really to make a bit of a correction. Well, to, to show you two things. One, that the double bond takes precedence when you are deciding which direction to number in. And then also to correct a little bit of a mistake in the last video where I, I, did, I forgot to put the die when I had two double bonds.